We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Location number one, I am really excited, but to join me on this trip today, I have Jean. She's a popular fashion blogger here in Boston. And I have lived in Boston for like 10 years, so you know all the good spots for Boston. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you all. I can't believe I'm finally sitting in here. Every time I walk by, like I said, always lying out the door. We've been here five minutes. This place is already packed. And you come here a lot. Well, whenever my friends want the Boston experience, this is where we come. So what do you usually get? We have to get the Boston Classic. The lobster roll, they have hot and cold. Of I'm course. partial to the hot, but I want you to try both and you be the best. So let's get the clam chowder. Okay. I'm third in the clam chowder pan. I love, love clam chowder. So they do it a little bit differently here. It's a little bit thinner and less fatty, but I hope you'll still like it just the okay. same. People tell me I should be more healthy, so yeah. Let's also get the Neptune Johnny thing. They're kind of known for that. Uh, I'm always up for uh, new experiences, so can't wait for the food. This is my first meal of the day, so this is breakfast for me. Lobster rolls for breakfast. Nothing That's better. The best thing. That's the best thing. All the food is here and everything looks fantastic. Clam chowder, first of all. Look at this. Look how many clams in here. And you're right, it's a little thinner than, the, uh, than some of the typical clam chowder I've seen. I like my soup this way. Yeah? Shall we? Let's do it. Cheers. That's awesome. Fresh clams. I they have a really, good bite to it. Really fresh clams. Look at the size of these things. Yeah. It takes up my whole spoon. Definitely need another bite of this. That's good. That's fantastic. This is the first time I clam chowder with a clam was this fresh. Usually, you can, you can tell it's like canned clams. This is awesome. You know what I usually like to put in my clam chowder? It's a basco sauce. You ever done that before? I, why am I not surprised? Wait, can you handle your heat? I'm not as enthusiastic as you, but I can handle my sriracha. Right. I don't think I don't think they have any here, but we can definitely get some Tabasco. Yeah, let's get some Tabasco. Those of you who don't know, clam chowder, you add a little Tabasco. This is the kick you're looking for. You gotta, you need to kick these clams a little bit, wake them up a little. All right, Chin, you ready? The soup is usually really creamy, um, and you add a little spice. It cuts the cream a little bit. That's awesome. Next up, um, let's, let's do these cakes. So these are Johnny cakes. I think that is smoked white fish with a little caviar on top. Never had smoked fish on my pancake before, but let's try it. It's definitely not as fluffy as a regular pancake. It almost so. feels like cornbread. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's amazing. What I love about this, it really surprises me, the outer layer, that's crispy as heck. Tender, inner layer, outer layer is crispy. It's sweet, then you add the fish, a little salty. Is this syrup? Tastes like honey butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, This is like a beautiful family right here. Fish, the caviar. I'm not big on caviar, but... I like it as an accent here. Yeah. Main events. Let's do the hot um, lobster roll first. Of course, yeah. before it gets cold. How much lobster is in here? I mean, I don't even know how, like, pick, how to pick this up. It's going to collapse. I wish, I wish I majored in engineering, and I I'm failing. I'm sorry, Gene. Let me help you. You ready? <laughs> I'm not letting any lobster escape. No way. I mean, it could fall on the ground and I'll eat this. Gene, I just want to say thank you so much for bringing me here and put this lobster. I actually have tried a lot of lobster rolls, but I always thought like they were, they were a little, I mean, the cold ones anyway, they were a little too mayonnaise -y. And the hot ones were just not flavor, flavorful enough. This, this changed all that. The lobster meat is just massive, it's sweet. And the butter, a little salty, really flavorful. It's not just like it's butter, you know what I'm saying? It's not just like, it's just butter, it makes you a little nauseated after you eat a lot of it. It's actually a lot of flavor. I like the bun itself. Lightly toasted. Lightly toasted. Not overpowering. Really, really, really subtle. Now, I think this roll is more expensive than a lot of other rolls too. Because I, I, saw, I saw market price on the menu, Usually when I see market price, it's that means a lot of money. Yeah. And you know what? Lobster rolls are a slippery slope. Like there's no cheap lobster rolls. So if you're gonna pay, you might as well pay for the best. Oh. All right, hot versus cold. Here we go. <laughs> lobster down. I love you, lobster. Thank you for your sacrifices and your deliciousness. Thank you for making me feel so happy right now. Usually, like I mentioned, a lot of times the lobster tail has too much mayonnaise. Most of what you taste here is just, just sweet, clean lobster. So much emotion, you know? I mean, they, have, they both have their merits, right? It's like your two kids, who do you love more? The how, Don't okay. make me choose. I'll choose, I'll let the hot one more. I'll choose right now. And this is still good, not knocking you. Love you as well. But that hot one, that was just euphoric, okay? We're gonna wrap this up. Then we're 
We're gonna go location number two. So we are at the Daily Catch. Uh -huh. This is one of my favorite spots. I've been coming here for years. All right, what, what dishes are we having here? We're gonna get the lobster fra diablo for two. What, what, what is that? So that literally translates into lobster from hell. Lobster from hell. Okay, that might sound scary to some of you, but to me, it, it just makes me happy. Is that weird? Or what else, is that it? We're also gonna have to get their famous squid ink pasta. They make their own squid ink pasta. Love squid ink pasta, love the lobster from hell. Yeah, let's go eat. This is what you're talking about. It's world famous. And they said the Food Network's been here, the Travel Channel's been here. I'm so excited about this. So excited, so excited. I love lobster. This is the lobster dance. This is the lobster dance. What? Wow. You, sir, are a lobster mad genius. Kudos on serving it in a pan. From pan to table. You just cooked this on this pan and you brought it. Don't my man. Mm. Oh my gosh. You know, I've had this like a dozen times and it's still amazing. It's still beautiful. You know, you know what this is like to me? This is like seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time. It's like, wow, majestic. Two lobsters. We have some mussels, shrimp, calamari, pasta. You know, want to eat straight out of the pan? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. You are the bomb. All right, let's do it. I don't care, burn me, please. Oh my God. Beautiful pasta. Ooh, that spice hits me. Like, like a little, little after punch, you know? A little after shock. Yeah, and I love this because it catches all that beautiful sauce in the pan. All right, let's dig into the lobster. Dip this, look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, lobster, that's fresh. Sweet, spicy. You know what I want to do? Look at this. Look at the garlic bread they brought us. Excuse me, regular garlic bread, your mothership has come. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. It's so beautiful. Fresh garlic, butter, here you go. Thank you. This is like this is like the adult foodie version of Dunkaroos, you know? That's how I'm eating this dish. And oh, I didn't see clams in here. Clams, clams. mussels. So all of this seafood is locally sourced. Is it? So you're eating from the waters of New England. Everything is fresh here. I don't know about Eugene, but all of a sudden when I'm eating seafood, I feel like another stomach magically appears. <laughs> Can you pass me the red pepper? Of course. I, li I like a little extra spice. I like a little more Diablo in my Diablo thingy. Feel free to red pepper right on really? top. Mm -hmm. I love a good red pepper on my Italian food. Hit that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's make it rain. Let's make it rain hot pepper. <laughs> this is so slow. You might as well just open up that lid and go for it. <laughs> How do you know me so well? Like seriously, this is what I do back home. I just like open up the lid and I just let it go. I wish I just wish I had some chili oil here, but oh. I have some in my purse. Are you serious? Yes, I am. I wasn't kidding you. You didn't believe me? I you're blowing my mind right now. No way. Oh my gosh. This smells awesome. I'm not sure if it's gonna go with this. I don't this. think it's gonna go with that. I don't think this needs it. No, I'm, but I'm gonna put some on, on mine. Just cause you made it, I wanna try. I like that. You're like my best friend right now. You allow me to spray hot chili pepper all over this dish. You brought me chili oil. You are officially my best friend. That's it. You have taken the place of my best friend. Again, with the pan, you know what? I don't know why people put things in place anymore because this is this is as close to the kitchen as you can get, right? In the pan, here. So this is a dish that I always have to get here. The lobster fried diablo is a little more indulgent, maybe yes. for a special occasion, yes. but this is the cannot miss here. They and make all their squid ink pasta themselves. And it looks like ground meat, yeah. but it's actually ground calamari. Ground calamari. Yes, it's like a calamari bolognese. Oh my goodness. And this way is called alio olio, just means olive oil and garlic, just simplicity. Mm. I love Asian food, I do. I love Italian food. I love pasta. You know what's really strange? Doesn't it taste like meat? It tastes like meat. It's a little snappier, but if I didn't, wasn't thinking, I'm just like eating it, I think it's pork. Mm -hmm. Better than pork. Yeah. Though. I think the ground calamari, this is perfect because it tastes like pork, but a little better than pork because it has the nice 
chewy little texture to it. This is really ingenious, and I love the fact that it's served in a pan. I like scraping up all these brown bits. I love how garlic it is. Just well, with this meal, you don't have to worry about the vampires coming. No, 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 I never do because I live on a daily dose of garlic. If Dracula comes to my house, he will immediately die. He'll want to stink himself. All right, Gene, I, I'm really enjoying my, my lobster day so far. Really enjoying it. And it's not at an end. It's, it's not over yet because now we're going to show you guys the Chinese side of the lobster. Let's go. Location number three. Location number three, final lobster place of the day. We are in Chinatown, my, my hood. I feel like, I feel like I'm home. Well, you're, you're kind of home too. Well, this is my home okay. too. Do you eat more like Western cuisine or Chinese cuisine or Asian cuisine? I do most of my Asian cooking at home. Okay. What? So you know your stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm really excited about. Chinese style lobster. It's gonna be really different than what you guys have seen, what we have ate today. We're gonna to get all the traditional dishes. Yeah. And then they have one here that's a little bit unique. Yes. In Chinese cooking, we stir fried the heck out of that lobster, and it's delicious. So I grew up eating it this way, and yeah. I didn't even know that you could order a whole lobster boiled until I moved to Boston. Okay. Because this so, is like the way for me. All right, so let's eat, and we'll let you guys know, but here you go, guys. This is what we're gonna get, Chinese style lobster. We're gonna go for four lobsters, just me and Gene. We're gonna knock out <laughs> four lobsters. Gene, before the lobster gets here, let's just coat our stomach with some tea. So for those of you who aren't familiar, this is how you say thank you when someone pours your tea. In the South. In the North, we also do this sometimes. Oh yeah? yeah. With the knuckle? Yeah. That's like oh, you're, that's that's like symbolizing your knees. And then you get a nice sound. That's kidding. The sound is not true. But cheers to our cheers. final lobster meal of the day. Here we go. First of our four lobsters. I just want to say, we almost ordered eight lobsters by accident. by accident, which you know what? I would have been totally fine with. I've been okay with that too. Because guys, be careful. When you go to Chinese restaurants um, in Chinatown, usually a lobster dish comes with shuanglong, which means twin lobsters. They're not like really twins. They just look alike. This is our first one. What's this called? XO lobster over sticky rice. And this is one of their signature dishes. Uh -huh. And you can kind of smell how like aromatic that sticky rice is with all the garlic and dried shrimp and scallop. Okay, Perfect. let me let me serve you. Here you go. I'm trying to be like. Thank you. What a China, gentleman. Yeah, Chinese gentleman. This is what you guys should do if you're ever on a date with a Chinese girl. You gotta serve her before yourself. Before yourself, absolutely. All right. So what I like to do mm -hmm. is use your chopstick and kind of poke that meat out a little bit. Yeah. Let me get a little bit of scallions. And you can see on this rice, there's like this dried scallop, yeah. dried garlic, that dried shrimpy goodness. I think that's what's actually in EXO sauce and makes all the flavor. Here we go. Chinese lobster cheers. Oh, they call this in Chinese the dragon shrimp for a reason. Hello, dragon, you with your mighty dragony flavor. My goodness, I love this rice. I could eat this rice alone. I might like this rice even more than the lobster. How dare you? But, <laughs> but with uh, the lobster, it takes it over the top. Yeah. So you know what's gonna make this even better? Mm. Try their homemade hot oil with our perfect bite. You're awesome. It's gonna knock you out of this world. Awesome. Wow. Oh, that definitely has a kick to it. That punched me down my throat. Mmm, that's good. And usually lobster, I don't like mix that with hot oil because lobster has its own sweet, beautiful, natural flavor. So I'm gonna leave that alone, but I'm just gonna add some on my rice and then I'm just gonna take a bite with the lobster, I'm expecting the lobster to attack me a little. Beautiful rice, so beautiful. Sorry, it won the pageant. It, it won, definitely won the pageant. It's not overly sticky, you know? The bottom of it has a different taste than the top because the top is more exposed to the air. It's a little a little drier. The bottom is just juicy. This is what I love, you know? Yeah, I would never think like, let's cook some lobster over a bit of rice and make the rice awesome. That's why I love Chinese people. So innovative. Someone should give this innovation award. Food innovation, should we have that? <laughs> I think we should. Next up, what You is ready this? for this? Okay. Repeat after me. I don't know how your canto is. It sucks. <laughs> Mine's not so great okay, either. What is it? This is Gong Chong Long Ha. Gong Chong Long Ha. Close. Is that perfect? <laughs> it sounded perfect in my head. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if it wasn't. So, what is this? So, this is ginger scallion lobster, and this is a very traditional way of it's making classic, it. Classic, right? Yes, I grew up eating this. In fact, this is what I thought lobster was, and this is like the be it end all of lobster until I came to Boston. 
Chow some lobster. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, Jean, you're not you're Chinese like me, so we're 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 like used to like handling foods and giving it to you, to other people. If you're eating with Chinese, it's okay to kind of just like slobber all over your chopsticks, grab some noodle, put it in someone else's plate. Okay, maybe not that extreme, but it is okay to use your own chopsticks. I'm on friends or strangers. I've done it with strangers. I've done it with strangers. Strangers are a little iffy about it, but friends definitely. Oh, chopsticks, buddies. You know what it does? The ginger and scallion, it kills off any of the fishiness if the lobsters had any to, to begin with. It kills all that off. Lobster is very clean, a little sweet, and the ginger and scallion flavor, it doesn't do anything but enhances that. Mm -hmm. It's a very light flavor, mm -hmm. like aromatic. Exactly. You smell the ginger, you smell the whites of the scallion. It's almost like hickory smoke for meats. The last two lobsters, we're gonna eat as a pair, as a twin, because they kind of look alike. One is covered in uh, green chili pepper, red chili pepper, and the other is just like dried garlic all over the place. I think this is like how calamari is usually prepared oh, yeah. in Chinese yeah, sure, restaurants. Right. Like right. salt and pepper, stir yeah. fried. Wanna go for this first? I do, I do. All right, so definitely scoop up some of this. It's what spicy? A little bit, but. Oh, if you think it's spicy, no, then I better watch out. A little bit, but. It's got good flavor. I love green chili. It's my favorite so far. Fried lobster, fried lobster's awesome. And then I think they stir fried a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just to give it that light coating. It's fantastic. Really fragrant. Love the deep fried flavor. If you like chicken wings, mm. you're, you're gonna love this lobster. You're right. This is just like the salt and pepper chicken wings. All right, let, let's dig into the garlic one. Look at this thing is just covered in garlic. I'm gonna give you the Raining, best piece. This is the garlic. best piece in the world. Oh, thank Look you, sir. It's like, oh my God, it's just covered in garlic. take that one. Tail. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cover mine with some more garlic. I'm gonna dip my back in the garlic. Hope I you can't. don't plan on kissing anyone later. You know what? This is the great thing about, about eating, eating lobster with garlic. It's a two person dish, right? So whoever you're kissing later, you're gonna have equally bad breath. So you know what? That's fine. It's all good. Cancels each other out. Oh, favorite. Give this lobster a gold star. That's delicious. I love garlic. Garlic with lobster, that's that's like this, you know? I see a lot of people, that's this. Am I doing it right? This. It's sweet, all right? Got the sweet, but Oh man, that garlicky flavor, that roasted garlicky. It's gonna stick with us for a while. That's okay. You know what? That smells like deliciousness, you know? I'm telling you guys right now, like this is how you can tell when you are in a loving relationship is if you can eat this and your SO can still kiss you, then they love you. If they don't turn you down, if they kiss you right back and say, wow, that was the most delicious kiss I ever had, yo, you got yourself a winner. So that delicious and a testament of love. That's what I'm saying. I have to agree, well said, well said. All right, we've been eating lobster for the whole entire day, which if you could ever do that in your life, I suggest you do it. It's called Lobster Fun Day. I just give it a name. <laughs> so there you go, guys. What I really wanted to do in this video is kind of show you the, the different styles of cooking lobster. And this is more Cantonese style, right? This is not even like Northern style cooking lobster. This is more Cantonese style. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, Jean, for joining me. And definitely check her out at extrapetite.com. She does great styles great fashion like super relevant at, for you look look at how well she's dressed compared to me like she gets up and probably like was has has to choose what i choose whatever is clean that's a good strategy <laughs> so definitely check her out i'll have all her information in my description box below thank you guys so much for watching and until we eat again see you later so definitely check her out uh, I have a problem with saying I'll have. I'll have. I'll have.